Hello everyone and welcome to my garage. Today we have a special video and we talk about this thing here. Well, what you see is my old open differential, which by its nature has a big deficiency. And mainly that in a slippery condition, the power will take the path of least resistance or it'll go to the tire with least traction. Well, you may ask, why is this type of differential so widely used if it has this problem? And the answer is pretty simple. It's very cheap to manufacture and it's very easy to maintain or it doesn't need maintenance at all. And also most of the cars on the road are driven by normal people that don't autocross their cars and actually are slowing down in corners. Also these cars don't have all that much power to manage. And besides many automakers are using what's called brake vectoring which basically uses your brakes to slow down the tire that has least traction this way the power can be distributed to the other wheel that actually has traction. And honestly, that works well for most of the cars on the road. Now, if you own a front wheel drive, high horsepower car like myself, then you probably know that the setup I've just described above doesn't really work all that well. You get torque steer and a lot of drivetrain power loss because your engine cannot distribute its power efficiently to the wheels. What you need in this situation is a limited slip differential. In my case, I went with the M factory limited slip differential, uh, which is a Torsen style torque bias uh, differential that balances out the traction difference between tires. In other words, if your right tire has only 30% of traction or resistance, the LSD will send 70% of the power to the left tire that has good traction. In order to see how it works in real life, I'm gonna take you on a beautiful mountain road. Also watch the video till the end to see what are the downfalls of the M factory LSD and also what is the real advantage of the wave track LSD and also which one you should buy. I apologize in advance for the video quality because I have messed up the focus and realized that later. Welcome everyone to our driven roads. It's been a long time since the last time I've done a video on my own car, a 2018 or Vogue ST and uh, I promise that I'm not gonna do another video unless something important happens. And guess what? Uh, something important happened. I finally got my limited slip differential installed and it's a big event because a limited slip differential makes a huge difference as you might have read already. And also I am in Pisgah Forest in North Carolina. For those familiar with the area that should say a lot, that should be enough. It's a beautiful mountain road and I couldn't ask for a better chance to test out the limited slip differential. Here we go, that's a tight turn. It washes out when you apply the brakes, but it pulls you back in once you step on the gas. And it pulls. There's no understeer. And I am right now in on some winter tires, so it's not the best tire setup. But because of the limitless slip differential, uh, I'm being pulled out of the corner. Once again about the road I'm driving. For the rest of the people who never heard about this national park, if you heard about Tail of the Dragon, then imagine the same road but without uh, other cars. It's only you, maybe a few other cars, a few other people uh, coming to hike or just have a good time. Need some fresh air. It's pulling so well. Yes. It's very important to mention that since I got the limited slip differential, the car got a lot more uh, stable and neutral, I would say. Uh, the first thing you notice is the lack of torque steer the way it was before. I would say you can probably feel some torque steer uh, two times out of ten, but for the most part it's, it's just gone. At this point I had the limit slip differential installed for about two months and besides this Besides this road, I had the chance to test it out on rain, snow, and on 
just daily usage and it performed very, very well. There's just an incredible amount of confidence that you start to get with the differential. In fact, there may be a little too much confidence. It's just insane. Previously, with the same tire setup, which is a winter tire, my car would wash out pretty fast. Here, except for the except for the uh, braking traction, uh, the traction in corners with the differential is almost as good as with the summer tire. so they can go yeah I mentioned that there is not much traffic on this road but still overall the, the limits of differential uh, works seamlessly it's very smooth you don't really notice its presence to be honest uh, the way you notice it when when it, you can hear it working in a Camaro SS I drove some time ago uh, but not here it's it's very very smooth so there you have it, the M Factory LSD provides an incredible traction advantage over the stock open differential. But, and I want you to listen closely here because I haven't found this information mentioned anywhere else. Number one, as you noticed in the video, if you apply brakes hard while turning the steering wheel, the car will understeer. And that is because the M Factory differential works efficiently when accelerating out of the corner, not decelerating into it. Number two, I mentioned that the traction is improved in snow and rain, but here are the limitations. If you drive in rain and you want to accelerate out of a corner, then both of your wheels will lock up and receive equal amount of torque, which will make the car understeer badly. And that's because it's equally wet for both tires at the same time. Number three, I mentioned that the traction advantage compensates for a bad tire, and that's absolutely true for many situations. And yet, you still need a good performance tire to compensate for the issues I've described earlier. Now let's talk briefly about the WaveTrack LSD, which often is described as the superior choice when it comes to LSDs. From my understanding, the WaveTrack has a wave hub between the two side gears of the wheel, which keeps a constant load for both wheels at the same time. And in this situation, if one tire is off the ground, then up to 100% of the power can go to the other tire that has traction. WaveTrack also claims that it can put down power under deceleration and not only acceleration like M Factory or Quave does. In fact, M Factory itself says the same thing on its official website. And don't worry, I'm gonna leave all the links in the description below. So after all I said, does that mean that M Factory is a bad LSD? The answer is no, because you still have that torque bias ratio 4 to 1, which means that even if one tire is off the ground, 75% uh, of the power will still go to the other tire that has traction, instead of 100% in case of the wave track. Also, there's still the brake factoring that helps a lot. And lastly, the only place a tire lift up could reasonably happen is on a racetrack. So in the end, is it worth installing an LSD? The answer is yes. You can argue as much as you want, but you can talk seriously about performance, big turbos, stage 3000 tunes and so on, if you're not willing to solve an inherent problem of all front wheel drive cars. And if you disagree with me, it means you don't understand how a front wheel drive car should feel like. One last word. Installing an LSD is not cheap or easy. No regular transmission shop will do this job for you. Which means that your best friend is your local Pokes ST community. And what I'm trying to say is that there are people out there who know what they're doing and can help you with that. That's gonna be all for today. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for watching until the end. I really hope this information was helpful and will make someone change his opinion. I'll see you next time.
number one, number one, number one, number one. As you noticed in the video, if you apply bl number two, number three, number three, one last word, one last word, one, all right, one last word.